Shalom and welcome to Simitz of Torah. This year is entitled, Think Eternally, Think Big. Beginning of Pasha Palotcha, Rashi says that Aaron was rewarded with a lagat wrote lighting the menorah in the Migdash. Because he was upset. Last week's Pasha finishes off, Pasha's Nasa. Each Nasi, prince of each tribe, is giving his korban. And Aaron was left out. Kohanim were left out. So therefore he was given the reward of the menorah. Ramban says on Rashi and on the Medrash itself. Okay, let's assume Aaron is uh, upset. He's jealous. It's not a jealousy of a stama person. He's jealous of someone's house, his new car. He's upset because he wants to have mitzvahs. That's great. But this is the consolation. He'll light the menorah. Maybe give him a consolation. He's going to be the only one that will ever go into the Kodesh Kedashim. Yom Kippur, that's his special mitzvah. Korbanot. Lighting the menorah, that's his special mitzvah, and that outweighs the korbanot that the Nesim and the princes brought. So therefore the Ramban says it's not referring to the referring to the menorah lighting in the Migdash, it's referring to the menorah lighting in the future. That the Hashmanim are going to come and take over the Migdash. We conquer it, Bidliko and Erod Pachatsot Kachacha, they're going to light the candles there. So Mordechai Kamnetsky says, okay, that's very nice that in hundreds and hundreds of years from now, Aaron, your great, 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 great grandchildren are going to light the menorah. And that's such a consolation. And he says, this is Rav Yaakov's grandson, he says, Rav Mordechai, that the message to Aaron is, you should know what you're doing is going to inspire generations from thousands of years from now. They're going to have a special connection to the menorah. And they're going to light the menorah in the Migdash. And that's going to be symbolic of the Jews being kicked out for coming back to the Migdash and igniting the fire, the physical and spiritual fire. And then for all generations. It's interesting in Israel, even though you don't have 90% of the people from, not yet. But over 90% light the Hanukkah candles. There's something special, something unique about it. And that was Hashem's message to Aaron, to know that this is big. You might think this is a little halakas ne'er or something like candles. No, it's going to affect generations to come. And I think there's an important message for us from here as well, that we should go ahead. We do things. We think big. We think eternally. And Yitzhak will elaborate on this in the next year. Shalom.